Hello, my name is Maria Zarati. I'm currently 32 years old, and this is my live again story. Um, I was diagnosed five years ago when I was 27 years old with stage three or four ovarian cancer. I was diagnosed when I was at a prime time of my life. I had a great job. I had a great, uh, not well, now he's my spouse, but boyfriend. I had a great family. I had friends. I would go out on weekends. I'd do the shows. I had a perfect, perfect life. Um, I decided to go up to spring break in San Francisco to be to visit my cousin who had just had her first newborn. I was very close to my family, so I was going up there to visit. What started as just pains that I thought were just either cramps or I had gone to Vegas the week before, so I thought it was just the result of what you do in Vegas, um, ended up being a hospitalization overnight at the Santa Rosa Hospital. They did a test and found out that I had a cyst immediately. I started to bawl because I thought, oh my goodness, it's a cyst. I didn't even know what a cyst was, but it sounded bad. And the next morning, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. The second that you hear that it's cancer, your world just stops. And your world just gets flipped completely upside down to where it seems so surreal and it seems like it's a nightmare that you're going through and that you're going to pinch yourself and that it's, you're going to wake up from it but you don't and you meet people along the way that will show you that as much as it is is a nightmare it's one that you can live through Um, someone that I met up in San Francisco when I was first diagnosed told me to kind of always keep the mantra in my mind that I have cancer but cancer doesn't have me and I think that that's helped me get through a lot because I do have cancer. I have ovarian cancer. I've been fighting it now for five years. It has metastasized. It has me on on tubes. It has me on hoses. It has me through hospitalizations. But the whole time I have to remind myself that I'm the one that has it and it doesn't have me. And that throughout it all, I have to smile and stay strong. And people ask, why, excuse me, I'm sorry. Why do you smile and why do you stay positive throughout all, throughout the whole struggle and I think it's because despite what you're going through every day is a blessing every day you have the opportunity to to meet someone to make them smile every day you have a blessing in my case of a wonderful husband that proposed to me the week that I was diagnosed when I thought he was gonna run away instead he proposed to me when the doctors had told my parents to start planning out hospice and start planning out funeral arrangements he decided to get on one knee hospital bedside and ask me to spend the rest of his life and my life together. That, the next morning my blood test came back so much better and just seeing that, seeing how much power people can influence other people with gave me the notion that, you know what, this this might be a journey that I lose, but at the same time, this is a battle that I can, I can put up a fight for. And I think that every single day you have to remind yourself that it is a blessing, you know? Maybe some days you wake up with a lot more pain. Maybe you can't eat today. Maybe you can't eat tomorrow, but you woke up and you made it thus far. So why not go a little bit more? I think something else that I've learned throughout my journey is that there are still, as cliche as it sounds, good people in the world, people that want to help other people because they recognize that this life isn't just about just doing one day to the next, but it's about making sure that other people smile along the way and fulfilling God's purpose of spreading love no matter what. So I think that through it all, I've learned, first off, that there's nice people. Second, to never give up hope because you never know what the next day can bring. Sometimes it might be good, sometimes it might be bad. And third, to just always remember to smile and stay strong because, again, I have cancer and cancer doesn't have me.